for the silver soldering, I'm going to take a little bit of um, silver solder paste and then flux and make it into a paste. So a little bit of this, this is silver solder flux, easy flux. Take some of that. It's just a, a white powder. Um, I'll put some of that onto a little tray. It's just an old, an old lid. And what I'm going to do is with a paintbrush, just mix a tiny amount of water with that. Just not too much because it, you'll see it, it rapidly absorbs the, the water a bit more. Do remember you're going to get it in that bits will drop off. Just be careful with this stuff. It's not particularly that nice. No flux is nice. So I've made it into a bit of a paste. And that's what I'm going to use to put onto my brass pieces. I'm just going to paint it on, on the surfaces that go together. And then for the silver solder, I'm using this fine, as I said, it's an easy flow 55 silver solder. It's 0.7mm wire. It comes in, I buy it in a six foot coil, but um, you can cut pieces of this wire off, silver solder wire off. And then you can place them very carefully on that joint. So Prometheus kiln uses a very simple 13 amp plug. Switch it on. It will beep. And then it goes to idle and then it shows there the temperature so it's been operating recently so it's got a temperature on there so if we then go into program we can choose and run through the programs uh, I'll go back program one if I go increase we have up to 15 programs Let's go to program one. We'll select that by pressing start. This is the ramp rate, which can be any any number up to 999, and that's degrees C per hour. And I'll put that to four, which means it'll, it'll ramp as fast as it can up to the maximum temperature. So that ramp rate set. We now set the temperature. I'm going to set it at 660 degrees C that's the temperature for easy flow 55 um, so i'm coming down a bit it was running a bit hot on that for a different job so we'll come down 660 degrees c we press program again and then we get how long do we want to hold that for now at the moment that says 40 minutes let's take that up let's say we're going to do we're going to we'll leave it on for an hour and then select again now you can have five steps in this but as we haven't got anything else to do we can literally just go well through that and leave it and, and leave those alone and, and then we'll go to start now start so when i press this program again it's now on and it's 619 at the moment because it's been on previously as i said it's it's running so it's actually and it will be running at full uh, rate to try and get up to 660 degrees C. So there's a little bit of lag in the system here, so this is the thermal mass of the system. It's slightly shifting down still. Once the heating element comes on and ramps up, that will turn around and we'll see this go up in temperature. Now, so it's stabilised now at 616, seems to have. And then we'll see it start to increase. So it's starting to increase. So it will go now up to 660 degrees C and it will hold it there for one hour. So I've set the oven at 660 degrees C. Uh, it's a bit over that because it's going up and down and fluctuating and it's at full 
so full power capabilities in terms of ramp rate um, but it's going to hold that for a minute so this is the Prometheus Pro 1 program kiln uh, 700 watts input runs off a normal 13 amp socket um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to silver solder these two parts together using easy flow 55 so I put the flux on there with a bit of water just to make it into a paste I'm going to put this in I'm going to shut the door and I'm going to let the temperature the temperature now will drop because I've opened the door and because I've put an extra mass in there so it was at 680 a little bit high when I'd set it at 660 but um it's coming back up to 660 now hopefully it might just take a couple of minutes but hopefully then we can just remove this part and it will be silver soldered It will overshoot on temperature a bit, but once that's that's settled, there we go. So we'll have a look. Let's see if this has flowed. It's not flowed yet, actually. My concern is it's probably you know, the silver solder still sat there. So maybe we'll. 